Good rainy Monday morning to you. This is Mr. Parker coming to you from my front porch chair. It is Monday, April the 13th. Um, today, what you need to do is you need to look through the slides on the Google slide, uh, local government. You need to look at the slides, I believe it's 21 through 28, and those slides pertain to taxes and revenue and how local governments fund projects that you and I depend on on a regular basis. Think about roads, uh, think about schools, think about hospitals and health care, police, fire protection, all those kind of things. They cost money and revenue is critical. All right, so we're actually going to be looking at different types of revenue today. Uh, you're going to be looking at the three different types of revenue that are common in our area. We'll talk more about that later on this week. I uh, also want to kind of quickly summarize what you covered last week. So the question for the day on Monday asked about the three types of local government, and the correct answer is city, county, special purpose. And then you were supposed to give an example. Um, so for city, you could say you follow laws. For county, you could say you go to the library or a park, and then special purpose is schools. Um, also mass transportation, uh, that kind of stuff. The second question had to do with which type of city government was the most balanced in terms of separation of power and the correct answer there was mayor council strong strong mayor council most of you got that right okay uh and then the third question the one that was for thursday had to do with the five elected positions in county government they're called county officers right you got the sheriff you got the tax commissioner you got the superior court judge you have probate court and the board of commissions okay um, and that pretty much wraps up the local government information besides the taxes and the uh, the revenue sources that we're going to look at today uh, we're going to look at some more revenue stuff tomorrow okay if you hadn't figured this out yet the way the schedule is going to work for the rest of the year is that i'm going to post a question and i'm going to put a video on something similar to this and I'm also probably going to put some content like today. It was the Google Slides. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to put some a chart on there that shows state revenue expenditures. That's how much money is spent throughout state government and then how that money is distributed. And that's pretty important. And then heading in toward the end of this week, we're going to wrap up local government. And I'm going to probably put some uh, Google Forms questionnaires for you to complete. Last week, you got a grade. I haven't put in the grade book yet. If you answered the questions as participation, and many of you did an excellent job of that. Just remember, if you answer a question and I reply back, you know, to change something, I would greatly appreciate it if you looked at what I said and maybe look back through the information and try to get that right. Um, it's not a big deal, you know, if, if you don't get it exactly correct. That's why you're going to look at the reply column. Okay. I hope everybody weathered the storm this morning and had a great Easter weekend. And I will talk back with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.